The months-long frustration with SunPass continues tonight. Drivers tell us they are fed up with the onslaught of backlog tolls they have received from SunPass. Many threatened to dump their SunPass accounts altogether. The question is, did they? News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky has been following this fallout from the very beginning. She joins us now live in the newsroom. Adriana? Well, many of the people I have talked to over the course of these several months say they did plan to either close their SunPass accounts or switch to ePass, but we wanted to know if they actually did. We asked both the state and the Central Florida Expressway Authority for a monthly breakdown of both SunPass and ePass accounts over the past year. Now remember, ePass tolls involve those collected on the Central Florida highways like the 408, 528, 429, and 417, and SunPass covers the rest of the state. Now as you can see, ePass experienced an 83% increase in new accounts since last summer and saw a significant jump from July to August of this year, right on the heels of the SunPass system failure. But the SunPass problems did not seem to have a major effect on ePass customers closing their accounts. Now, the Florida Department of Transportation would not provide a monthly breakdown, but it did confirm that during the SunPass system upgrade failure this summer, more than 36,000 SunPass customers closed their accounts. But 1.6 million new accounts were opened during that exact same time period. Geneva Carrero is one of those former SunPass customers who chose to switch to ePass instead. I mean, we spend a lot of money on the SunPass. It's like 75 a month. She just picked up her new ePass transponder today. And then there are the toll by plate customers who haven't been billed since May. They're about to get hit with four to five months of tolls all at once. I really don't understand how they can be that far behind. It makes no sense. Okay. Maybe they just need to come up with a better idea of to where it won't make so many mistakes. Now, ePass tells me their pay-by-plate invoices have been going out without any issues. Now, also on Monday, ePass will be notifying its customers about the deadline to review and contest any of those backlog SunPass charges they received. It was a separate invoice. Now, you only have until the end of the year to do it, and some customers haven't even checked, so watch your emails for that. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.